Alright people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are actually looking at yet another one of those stunny spellcaster monsters, kind of like Jalgen. And uh, we're going to of course be comparing it to Jalgen and determining whether uh, you should be running it instead of Jalgen and how good is it in comparison. So this is Gendo, the ascetic m monk. He is a water spellcaster, level 4. Oh, water spellcaster since what? Blue boy. <laughs> 300 attack, but 1800 defense, so at least he has a nice big old booty for you to sit on. So as the effect reads, face up, attack position monsters on the field cannot activate their effects. This defense position monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So, I mean, it's a pretty pretty simple card. Uh, I like that it has kind of like this pseudo protection that uh, when he's in defense mode, he can't be targeted uh, or destroyed by card effects. It's nice and all, but... Uh, probably someone's going to be attacking over you. My big problem with it is that it specifies attack position monsters. If it was just, just face, just, you know, face of monsters on the field cannot activate their effects, maybe we could talk, but it specifically has to be in attack position. So, literally, all you have to do, to, you know, you have this, and you're just like, ah, ha, ha, you can't activate any effects. It's like, oh, that's what you think. But as long as I'm in defense position, it's kind of like that whole, um, 101 stipulation, <laughs> you know, it's been how many times where I have, especially summon monster on defense, and opponent will summon 101 and try to take you, like, uh uh, it's been attack position, same, same situation. So, you have this, I, alright, face up attack position monsters can't activate their effects. Cool, story. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and XC into Castell in defense mode. You know, I can literally just go, alright, insta fusion, summon Norden. Oh, in defense mode, <laughs> he gets his effect, summon back a level 4. XC into Castell, in defense mode. Castell effect detached to and put the Gendo back into the deck. So, yeah, cool story, bro. <laughs> it's just, like, why they had to make it specifically face up attack position? It's just like, uh, yeah. Uh, and like I said, it's nice that when he's in defense position, he can't be targeted to by card effects, but how are you supposed to get this in defense position and have it survive? Like, are you supposed to, like, set it and then your opponent tacks into it and then, like, oh, I have 18 booty, you didn't destroy me, you know, I'm in face of defense position? Or do you, like, summon him in attack mode and then protect him with back row and then turn him to defense? Limit Larry Area B. Summon it, switch it out of back to defense mode. You can yeah. use it in a stun deck for that. Yeah, I guess you could. In a Limit Area B deck, stun the shit out of him with this. That's dirty. That's dirty. Alright, I see you. So, there you go. Yeah, you can go Limit Area, limit area B. If you want to do that, and you've seen them stunny uh, Saki decks a ton of times, but you know, once again, uh, you're not stopping the mix monsters that Luminaria B. People always argue that on DN, all the noobs, all the scrubs. So, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking maybe someone attack mode protects it with some back row for a turn, then turn to defense mode, but still. Uh, and like I said, his booty is 18, but 18's not too terribly hard to get over. Like I said, you don't even have to bother, you know, uh, Depending on what they have and what background, you don't even have to bother having the Castell spin the Gendo back. You could just run it over. You know, it's, uh, they didn't say that it can't be destroyed in battle. It just can't be targeted. So you can't, like, you know, Fiendish chain him and negate him. And uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects. You can't just Dark over Gekium. So now the other question is, is he uh, worth uh, running and trying to stun your opponent? I would have to say no. I think there's other cards that's done better. Um, it's, it's like the argument between uh, Majesty's Fiend and Vandy's Fiend. You know, some decks, there's uh, decks where you're just like, yeah, negate the monster effects. And other decks where it's just like, no, stop the special summoning. Uh, I think this is one of those situations, except if this was like a broad sweeping, uh, just negate all the special summons, I mean, all the effects you know, on the field, like a, like a skill drain, then, you know, maybe we could talk, but it doesn't. While uh, you have monsters like, uh, you know, like Jalgen and uh, Falsadana Pachycephalus. Oh my god, I can't say his name. Pachycephalus? I think that's how you say it. Pachycephalus? Off the top of my mind. Uh, where it's just like, nah, he can't special summon. So you have those monsters backed up by back row. I think I'd rather have those monsters backed up by back row and stun you than do this method. I don't know. It's just that, that, that face up attack position uh, really gets me because all they have to do is just summon the monsters in defense position and they're they're free. They can activate as many effects as they want. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't run it to tell you the truth. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. I mean, you can always, maybe, you know, summon monk. You know, summon monk, put your spell and summon this into face up defense position. You can do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, card in the comment section below and whether you think it is a stun card worth playing because I've seen a handful of stun decks in my time and I just I just don't see uh, a place in this uh, in the deck for this guy you know like I said unless you want to be cute and run your little uh, limit area 
in an area B with the false diamonds and this and uh, <laughs> and uh, Jalgen just stun your opponent. Yeah, but I, oh no, no Jalgen wouldn't work. False down in this way because they're level four. All right, I'm done. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think of the, uh, about this card in the comments below, and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.